Hi guys and welcome back. So today we're going to do another fun and quick reversible pattern. Today we're going to be making a carnation that turns into a little doll. This pattern is really simple to follow and a lot of fun to make. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified every time I post a video. If you try out any of my patterns, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or send it to me by email. The links are in the description. So let's get started. So here are all the supplies you're going to need for this project. You're going to need yarn in a couple of different colors, something for the skin, for the skirt, which is basically the petals of the flower, as well as for the leaf as in the stalk. So I'm going to be using sport weight yarn. This is pretty thin yarn. You can use any yarn you like. Along with all of this yarn, since it's thinner, I'm going to be using a two millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need some stuffing, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, a set of safety eyes. You'll need a barbecue stick. In my case, I'm using a chopstick. You can use anything that you like. And you're also going to need some glue. So we're going to get started with the head. You're going to create a magic ring. So hold the yarn and cross it across your two fingers to create an X. Insert your crochet hook into the bottom. Pick up the top and twist and then just pull up a loop. You have a magic ring ready. Into this magic ring we're going to place seven single crochets. Insert your crochet hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Tuck the tail end of your magic ring tightly to make sure that your magic ring is closed up. For the second row you are going to place an increase all the way around or 2 single crochets into each stitch. So into each stitch 1 and 2 into the next one again one and two you're going to do this seven times all the way around until you have 14 stitches for this row now don't forget to place a stitch marker on the very last stitch to keep track of your rows for the next row into the first stitch one single crochet into the one after that an increase or two single crochets one and two again into the next one one into the one after that one and two and you're going to do this seven times all the way around so one one two one one two until you have 21 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place two single crochets so one into the first stitch one into the stitch after that and into that third stitch one and two again one one into the third stitch one and two and you're going to do this seven times all the way around until you have 28 stitches for this row. Now for the next five rows, you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 28 stitches for each of the rows. So complete the next five rows and then meet me back here again. Now for the next row, you're going to start with two single crochets, one into the next one, one. And now we're going to do a decrease. To do a decrease, if you can see, every stitch has a V. Pick up only the loop which is facing towards you. Do that again for the next stitch. You've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over pull through two. Yarn over pull through two. Let's do that again. One single crochet. One single crochet. And then a decrease. Split the first stitch. Split up the second stitch. Three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. You're going to do this seven times all the way around until you have 21 stitches for this row. Now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 21 stitches for this row. Now before we proceed let's go ahead and add the safety eyes. So I'm gonna go three rows above one two and three and just push one of the safety eyes in leave about five stitches in between and then place the second eye 
once you're happy with the placement you can add the backing at the back now for the next row you're going to place one single crochet followed by a decrease and you're going to do this seven times all the way around until you have 14 stitches for this row make sure that you add enough stuffing to the head now for the next row you're just going to decrease all the way around seven times to have seven stitches for the row and after that you're just going to do one row of one single crochet all the way around for seven stitches for that row we're basically creating the neck right now so now we're going to do a color change and switch to the green yarn so let me show you how to do a color change so i'm on my very last stitch if you notice i haven't completed i haven't done the yarn over and pull through i have these two stitches on my hook i'm just going to snip my yarn off now i'm going to take the green yarn i'm going to place it in front of the two loops that i have right now and just pull it through now i'm going to use the tail end of the skin colored yarn to tighten it you can remove the stitch marker and now for this row we're going to place two single crochets in every stitch or an increase in every stitch seven times all the way around until we have 14 stitches for this row it's so one and two three four five and six and do this until you have 14 and then for the next three rows you're going to place one single crochet all the way around for 14 stitches for each of the rows now for the next row you're going to place two single crochets one and two followed by one single crochet followed by a decrease and you're going to do that four times all the way around Now for the next row you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain 3 and we're building up height because we're going to start with double crochets. Make sure that this part is a little loose. We're going to place one double crochet into that first stitch. Let me show you how to do a double crochet. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the loop, pull up a loop, you have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2 into the next one we're going to do two double crochets or a double crochet increase one and two into the next one we're going to do one into the one after that we're going to do one and two and you're going to do this five times all the way around until you have 15 stitches for this row one one and two now you're going to slip stitch onto the top of that first chain three that completes this row now to start the next row you're going to chain three again one two three into that first stitch one double crochet into the next one one double crochet into the one after that one and two so two double crochets followed by an increase five times all the way around until you have 20 stitches for this row now you're going to slip stitch onto the top of that chain three again chain three for the next row we're going to do three double crochets followed by a double crochet increase five times all the way around until we have 25 stitches for this row and then we're going to do a very similar pattern again again you're going to slip stitch chain three and then you're going to do four double crochets followed by a double crochet increase five times all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row now once you're done this is what it should look like i've done my last slip stitch i'm going to snip the green yarn off and now switch to the color that i want this skirt to be so in my case that's the pink so let's place the pink yarn 
in front of the green and just pull it through tug on the green yarn to tighten it now we're gonna start with a chain of three one two three into that very first stitch we're going to place three double crochets one two and three and this is the pattern you're going to follow for the entire row you're just going to place three double crochets in every stitch so you'll be placing that in 30 stitches which should bring you to a stitch count total of 90 stitches for this row once you're done this is what it should look like now we're gonna slip stitch onto the top of that chain three do another chain three and start with the next row we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous row which is in every stitch we're going to place three double crochets one two and three go on to the next one and again place three and you're going to do this all the way around so now once you're done this is what it should look like so if you see the little flower is getting formed now what we're going to do is insert our crochet hook into the top of that first chain three slip stitch chain three skip one stitch place a single crochet again chain three skip one stitch place a single crochet chain three skip one stitch place a single crochet and you're going to do this all the way around so now once you're done you can snip your yarn off we'll tuck in the ends later before we do that let's start working on the top of the flower so if you see the dress is pretty flimsy and it doesn't actually hold in place so we want to tighten this last row of green stitches that we've done so go into any one of the stitches of your choice place your green yarn in front and pull it through this just helps put your green yarn in place now once you have your green yarn in place into that very first stitch which is the one right here we're going to place a single crochet into the next two stitches the one right here and here place a decrease now into the next stitch again you're going to do another decrease and a third decrease into the stitch after that a single crochet these could be a little tricky to work on so take your time when you do this and then three decreases and you're going to do this all the way around basically going to do three decreases one single crochet three decreases one single crochet all the way around now once you're done tightening up that row if you actually fold the flower up this will become easier once we complete the rest of the flower too but once you fold it up it fits really nicely and it stays closed doesn't come off so now we're going to start closing up this portion of the flowers so that's basically the back side you're going to insert your crochet hook into the last row right here basically the row before we started with our double crochets pull in your crochet hook and chain one with the green yarn chain two more so you have a chain three place a double crochet into that same stitch one double crochet into the next stitch these stitches may be a little difficult to find just find your way through so you're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch we're going to do a double crochet increase one and two 
again into the next stitch we're going to place one into the one after that again one into the one after that one and two and you're going to do this five times all the way around until you have 20 stitches for this row now once you're done you slip stitch onto the top of the first chain three for the next row chain two now we're going to place a half double crochet into that first stitch so yarn over insert your crochet hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three next you're going to do another half double crochet into the next stitch and into the one after that you're going to do a decrease again two half double crochets one two followed by a decrease again two half double crochets followed by a decrease and you're going to do this five times all the way around make sure you keep adding stuffing as you go now we're going to slip stitch onto the top of that chain 2 which is right here and for the next row we're going to place we're going to start with a chain 2 place one half double crochet followed by a decrease and you're going to do this five times all the way around until you have 10 stitches for this row and now for the very last row you're just going to decrease all the way around to close this up make sure that you keep adding stuffing once you're done leave a long tail for sewing on snip your yarn off pull it right through and then you can close up this little hole right here now you can make two tiny little hands you'll start with a magic ring with five single crochets and then do five rows of just one single crochet all the way around for five stitches for each of the rows make sure you don't add any stuffing to these now you can sew the hands on so we're going to go on either side of the doll just place the hands wherever you want them to be and then do a simple stitch just to sew this in place and once you're done attaching the arms this is what it should look like now you're just going to grab the stick which we're going to use to make the stalk of our flower you're going to tie up one end don't worry if this isn't tight we're going to attach it with glue later on and then you're just going to start rolling up the yarn all through the stick to cover up any of the brown portions so we want it to look entirely green like this so now we're going to do the hair which is the last part so i'm going back in with the same yarn as i used for the flower which is the pink yarn we're going to start with the magic ring again and this time we're going to make seven single crochets inside of it for the second row we're going to place an increase all the way around for 14 stitches for this row but we're going to work only in the back loops so ignore the loop facing towards you go into the loop away from you and place two single crochets into each of the stitches seven times all the way around now for the next row again only into the back loops one single crochet followed by an increase seven times all the way around until you have 21 stitches for this row now once you're done you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch chain 12 2 3 4 5 6 9 10 11 12 skip the first stitch into the second stitch 
place a half double crochet and then place one half double crochet all the way till the top once you've reached the top you're going to slip stitch on to the very next stitch and then you're going to repeat the process again you're going to chain 12 skip the first stitch go into the second stitch place a half double crochet and you're going to do this pattern 14 times all the way around and when you have seven stitches left meet me back here again so I'm done with my 14 strands and now I have seven stitches left so we're going to make little bangs for that so we're going to only chain six skip the first stitch into the second stitch and all the way until the top just do a half double crochet so we're following the same pattern but instead of chaining 12 we're just going to chain six now once you're done this is what it should look like you should have your bangs as well as the rest of the hair leave a really long tail because we're going to use that to sew on our bits and just pull the yarn right through so now that we have this piece ready we're going to start working into the front loops of each of these rows so we have the row with 7 14 and then 21 so we're going to start with this row of seven I'm just going to pick up any one of the stitches and I'm going to and I'm going to reattach my yarn in front like this chain four and then go into the stitch right next to that place a slip stitch again chain four go into the stitch right next to that again place a slip stitch and you're going to do that seven times for this row so just keep chaining four going into the next stitch and placing a slip stitch so just to show you it creates almost a petal like pattern so i hope you can see the petals more clearly now now once you're done with this row we're gonna chain four again but this time we're going to go into the row behind this which is the row with 14 stitches so go into the stitch right there and place a slip stitch again chain four go into the stitch next to that and place a slip stitch and you're going to do that 14 times once you're done this is what the top of the hair should look like you can leave the tail and just snip your yarn right off and pull it through and now I'm going to show you how to attach this to the doll now once you have your doll you're going to line up the bangs to come to the front and all the rest of the strands to go to the side and the back and the way we're going to sew this on is we're first going to sew on the center and then sew on each of the individual strands so first you can do a stitch just to sew on the top of the hair piece You can use some pins to hold these down sometimes that's a little helpful as well and then basically once you're done with that you're going to go into each of those individual strands and sew the corner in place like this so i want this strand to come right here i'm going to go into the strand out on the other end and sew it in place so go ahead and do that for all the strands of the hair so once you've attached the hair in place this is what it should look like now let's just try it out before we attach the stalk so if we 
pull up the flower and tuck all the little hair in it turns into a flower like this and when you open it up you have your little girl now as the last part i'm going to take the stalk i've attached some glue to it i'm just going to push it into the flower and then grab my yarn needle and just sew around to close it in place so now that we've got it all attached together let's try it out so here's our carnation and let's open it up to reveal our little doll you can add little leaves to the stalk as well if you want and you want to fold it up just turn it around gently push it through push the head and arms in and you have your little flower ready i really hope you enjoyed the video as much as i did this was so much fun to make if you want to try out more reversible patterns there's a whole playlist right here all the links are in the description as well if you try out any of my patterns please do tag me on instagram and send me emails with all your pictures and videos until next time bye bye